That innocent driver you mentioned, Miguel Feliz, suffered severe burns to his body and underwent surgery this afternoon here at, here at St. Barnabas Medical Center. We are still awaiting word on his condition. In the meantime, the mayor of Jersey City is calling for the police officers involved to be fired. This disturbing video shows Jersey City police stomping on and kicking an innocent man, 28 year old Miguel Feliz of West New York, after his car burst into flames on Route 1 and 9, Tunnelly Avenue, on Sunday night. Jersey City Mayor Stephen Fulop says he wants the officers involved to be fired. The video kind of speaks for itself. Any reasonable person seeing the video would say that they're not trying to be helpful. Hudson County prosecutors say the officers were pursuing another driver, 48 year old Leo Pinkston of Jersey City. City, who made his first court appearance today. But when he refused to pull over, police opened fire, causing Pinkston to crash into the car Miguel Feliz was driving and a utility pole. This video shows Feliz falling to the ground, trying to put out the flames on his clothes before police approach with guns drawn. Eric Roberto recorded the video with his phone. They started kicking and, you know, like grabbing and pulling him out of their the way they made a huge mistake treating this guy that way and he wasn't the one that they was chasing him. The police union says the officers were trying to extinguish the flames and pull police out of harm's way. The union president says the mayor's efforts to fire the officers show quote his thoughts are with politics and not policing. The mayor says too many mistakes were made. From uh, firing uh, the weapon to the pursuit to how they interacted with the victim to having the wrong person. Um, it was just poor judgment after poor judgment. So I think uh, those are people that we don't want in the Jersey City Police Department. Mayor Fulop says they are still working to identify the police officers involved and what role they played in the incident. The suspect, Leo Pinkston, remains in jail on eluding charges and aggravated assault. Live outside St. Barnabas Medical Center in Livingston, New Jersey, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Okay.